Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a short video for you. This was a question that was posted to me on Discord. Somebody has a uh, 100 page, 100 plus page PDF document, and on the last page they have a supplied die line. Now they uh, go on to say, you know, how am I supposed to use that? I need to have it basically show up on every single page. Uh, I can go through and edit or add it manually, but it's very time consuming and obviously, you know, I don't know how many pages the PDF actually is. Um, they talk about maybe using Onyx, but they don't trust it. You can use a program like Onyx or Flexi to do something like this. You could also set this up uh, with Adobe InDesign, but I wanted to show a quick way to do it directly from within Acrobat Pro. So let me hide this here and open up this PDF that I made. And this is a sticker uh, design that I had from a previous video. As you can see up here at the top, it's a 51 page document. As I scroll through, you'll see these numbers change. So let's say we're doing a, uh, you know, some kind of numbering job or something like that. And so each one of these needs to have a die line applied to it. And the die line only shows up on the very last page, the 51st page of the PDF. If I go into my output preview here, you can see my cut contour is already set up for me, but I need to have that applied to every single page. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into our organized pages here. Um, this is under your tools, so if you don't have it up, then you can go up to um, uh, your tools here, and there is one right here called organized pages. And as I pop that open, you can see it displays a preview of all 51 pages in the document. I want to make sure to select this last page, and I'm going to go to Extract up here at the top. I'm going to check this checkbox here that says Delete Pages After Extracting, and I'll click Extract. And so now this one page has been pulled out of the other PDF document onto its own PDF document. Uh, so this is only one page, and I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'll give it a name like um, Die Line. So I hit save, and then I'm done with this. I can close that out. And back in my original document, I'm going to go ahead and hit close, and I'll just hit save again so that we um, are set here with our 50 page only. So I don't uh, no longer have that Die Line in this PDF document, it's just the numbered from 1 to 50 pages. So from here, I'm going to go to Edit PDF. I'm going to go up to Watermark, click Add. It'll open this uh, new dialog window here. In the top right-hand corner where it says Page Range Options, I'm going to click that and make sure I'm applying this to all pages. If you had it pre-selected to just to do a few pages, obviously it's not going to apply it to every single page, so you need to make sure that it's um, highlighted on all pages. So normally, if you add a watermark, you would uh, put some text in here or something like that. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select a file. So I'm going to change this from text to file. I'm going to choose, and I'm going to choose that PDF that we just made with the die line. I'm going to hit open. And as soon as you hit open, you can see it's actually put the die line in here, but obviously it's sized incorrectly. So what we're going to do here under absolute scale, we're just going to change that to 100. So that'll put it back to 100%. And now basically I have my die line on the outside of my sticker design here. So I'm going to hit OK. It'll take just a second to apply it to each page. I'll hit close on my um, edit menu there. And as I scroll through, you can see now all of the pages have had that die line applied to it. And if I click on my uh, output preview and check the checkbox for cut contour, you can see it disappears. So it saved not only the cut, uh, excuse me, the uh, actual die line itself, but it's set as a spot color just as the original file was set up. And now I just all I have to do is just hit save, and now I can send this over to my printer and go ahead and print it, and then send the cut line over to my um, uh, cutter and cut it out. So you can uh, send this to Flexi or Onyx, whatever program you're uh, going to be using on a regular basis. So that's a quick way to do that without having to leave the program. You can just do everything right uh, then and there. The only thing you have to do is obviously extract it out and then basically bring it back in as a watermark. So that's it. Pretty uh, straight and simple. Hope it helps somebody out. As always, please give a, the uh, video a like, share, and subscribe. 
And if you're interested in helping out the channel a little bit more, please check out my Patreon page. I'll leave a link down in the description below. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the views as always. Have a good one.